Hey YouTubers, welcome to another episode here on ESGN Net. And you guys are looking at and we're going to talk about the best in the world versus the beast of the WWE. Uh, hey guys, uh, this is uh, the uh, ESGN Net pay per view prediction between CM Punk and Brock Lesnar happening this weekend on pay per view at SummerSlam. And uh, I tell you, man, what a. Uh, what a rivalry these two, this match, uh, these two are having, and what a match these two are gonna put on. Um, it should be a great match. Uh, you know they're advertising as the best versus the beast, and of course you got there. Uh, you see there at the bottom right hand side of your screen, Paul Heyman, the man that's instigating all this stuff. Uh, you know he's saying that. Uh, well, the reason Raw, uh, he just uh, said that. Um, that the WWE uh, were to blame for this whole match uh, happening and uh, for how the way Punk is, uh, is acting and so on and so forth. Uh, so my question is to you guys, do you guys think that's true? And do you guys think um, CM Punk will be able to uh, put away uh, the Beast? Uh, or will you think the Beast will get the best of the of the best of the world uh, that being CM Punk so uh, leave you guys comments down there below in the comment section uh, and let me know uh, what do you guys think uh, who's gonna win the match and whatnot uh, you guys think Paul Heyman is gonna get involved and uh, ruin the ruin the match and you know have uh, um, you know Curtis, Ang Curtis, A Curtis Angle, <laughs> Curtis Axel, uh, be involved in the match and causing trouble or whatnot. Uh, so yeah, leave me, uh, leave me guys' thoughts, uh, what you guys think about the match and uh, what you're looking forward to this match. It should be a great match. It's gonna be a lot of, um, I think it's gonna be a lot of grappling because both of them do have a uh, background in um, in wrestling. Uh, Brock, a former. Uh, World Heavyweight Champion, uh, NCAA Champion, uh, CM Punk. Um, you know he's re he's wrestled in all over the world, uh, Japan, uh, and, and really known for his wrestling in Ring of Honor. Uh, I just uh, was watching some uh, videos of him, uh, some of his best matches, and uh, I remember watching some of those matches. Um, you know on the the you know the era of uh, internet uh, you know really getting taken off and whatnot and I remember watching those on uh, they call them IPP, IPPVs uh, internet pay-per-views and they're uh, some great matches you know he had matches with Samoa Joe and uh, AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels and Kazarian and so many others that you see on TNA uh, and also Daniel Bryan uh, too uh, and I think I remember too I think he had a match right before he left uh, there against uh, Tyler Black aka uh, Seth Rollins so uh, you guys gotta check those out they're on YouTube uh, they're floating around all over the internet so you guys check those out or uh, go on the one of the Ring of Honor websites and get uh, you guys can uh, order videos off there of uh, Punk's best matches and stuff like that but uh, this Sunday, like I said, it should be a fun event. It's going to be there in Los Angeles uh, all week long. They're going to have um, uh, things uh, for fans uh, for SummerSlam Access, which I believe starts on Thursday. Uh, so if you're around in the L.A. area, uh, definitely go check those out. Uh, now you see Paul Heyman put his hands on Punk. hope that don't happen on Sunday. <laughs> Uh, but I actually I hope Punk gets I hope Punk gets his hands on on uh, Heyman, um, the Walrus, as, it, as Jerry Lawler would say. Um, I hope he does. I hope he gets his hands on him and uh, teaches him a lesson. Uh, but again, uh, it should be a great pay per view, uh, especially with this match. Uh, probably going to be close to the main event um, on the card. Um, and these two are gonna—I mean—they're gonna give it all. They're gonna put a great, put on a good show for uh, both. There you go, Punk, <laughs> uh, for the WWE fans there. Um, but yeah, uh, it should be a great, uh, it should be a great night, a great event, and uh, we're it should, you know, it's gonna be uh, something. It's gonna be—I think it's gonna be something very special uh, for everybody there. 
but yeah, I mean, what do you guys think? Um, who's gonna win? Uh, I'm gonna put my money on Punk. Uh, I really do. I mean, this is a good way for him to, um, you know, kind of uh, proving everybody that uh, he's, uh, you know, back and uh, you know, getting on everybody everybody's good graces, being a uh, face. Um, but of course, you know, I, I'm a I'm a big fan of him being a heel, so uh, hopefully you can get him in the in the in the running for World Heavyweight or well, yeah, for the World Heavyweight title or even the WWE title. Um, you know, this time last year he was the you know title holder, and um, you know Paul was in his corner and whatnot. So uh, it'd be nice to see uh, Punk back in there and uh, be in the mix for the um, title. Um, you know, whatnot, him and Cena, or, you know, if, or if Randy decides to cash in, uh, at, at SummerSlam, you know, it'd be nice to see him and, uh, Randy Orton go for the title, and whatnot, so, uh, but yeah, the best versus the beast, uh, would, you, uh, like to know what you guys think, uh, who's gonna win this match, uh, you guys can also follow ESG Net on, on Twitter and on Facebook and, uh, we even have a Tumblr now, so you guys can check out some photos from uh, from the different series that we have here. Uh, Coach Teddy Bonds, uh, Theo Bonds, um, Terrell Bonds, uh, who's in the NBA. Theo's in uh, Major League Baseball. He's with the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. TJ Bonds uh, is with the um, Denver Broncos. And their dad, uh, Coach Teddy Bonds, is a uh, he's in uh, Madden. Connected careers as a head coach of the Atlanta Falcons. So you guys can check out those series um, and uh, enjoy those videos there. Uh, but yeah, uh, this should be a great match. Uh, like I said, my money is going to be on Punk. Uh, I've been a CM Punk fan for a year for uh, you know his early days in indie wrestling and just seeing some of the indie stuff uh, uh, tapes that I had uh, way back in the day. Uh, that I, have, you know, I was like, man, this guy would be great in the in the WWE or back then uh, WCW when they were around. So, uh, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun night. Brock Lesnar, I'm, I'm a fan of, um, but I don't know. Uh, I, I kind of, I mean, I know he's, you know, he's on contract as a kind of a part time guy uh, and whatnot. And it wouldn't make any to me. It wouldn't make any sense for him being champion and just showing up for, you know, the big big pay-per-views like SummerSlam and, um, you know, Survivor Series and, uh, WrestleMania and Royal Rumble, uh, to me it just wouldn't make any sense, he would have to be a full-time guy, I, I don't, I wouldn't want to see him be like The Rock and, you know, come, come and come, you know, be the champion for two months and then, you know, you know, then decide to drop the title, so, um, but yeah, I mean, um, what do you guys think, uh, CM Punk? The best in the world or the beast. Brock Lesnar are going to win this match uh, on pay-per-view. And there you see we're seeing the simulation here from uh, WWE 13. And, uh, oh, yes, I was going to say, uh, speaking of, I was, I was sitting there thinking about um, uh, SummerSlam week, which is this week. Uh, but we'll also see the reveal of 2K, uh, WWE 2K14. Uh, from 2K Sports, this will be the first uh, wrestling game that uh, 2K's done ever uh, that I can remember, um, and this will be the first attempt at um, you know trying to carry on this product, this uh, franchise of video games uh, through their name. Uh, THQ is no longer uh, uh, teamed up with the uh, WWE. All making these games, so now it's, uh, 2K is now in charge of. Uh, you know, of creating these games, and uh, hopefully, uh, we'll we'll uh, usually uh, in the years past, we've always seen the uh, roster reveal and uh, some of the more of the more gameplay and more just uh, more of the modes and stuff. Because uh, you know, this game will be coming out right near the holiday season. Uh, I think towards the end of uh, August, or October, excuse me. And uh, so we'll see more of the roster being revealed. Um, there's supposed to be some superstar. This, I guess, this year is supposed to be a big year. Uh, they're gonna. I think there's gonna be the roster is gonna be more huge, uh, more D better DLCs, uh, and a lot more. Uh, I think legends. I think it's supposed to be like Attitude Era Era 2.0 or something like that. They're gonna add more uh, stuff. The same thing you've seen in 
uh, this year's uh, this past year's game uh, with WWE 13. You'll see more of that in uh, 2K14, uh, adding more uh, stuff from the Attitude Era from both from uh, I think from both I, from, I, if I'm not mistaken from the WWE, uh, WCW, and I believe also some matches from ECW, uh, some of the classic uh, quote unquote Attitude Era type of. Uh, matches that were going on in WCW, so um, anyway, I think I believe Paul Heyman uh, is writing a lot of storylines uh, for WWE Universe, and that's supposed to be uh, 3.0. That's supposed to be a lot more um, well um, organized and well put together. Uh, not so many, to me, not so many random stuff like there was with uh, WWE 12 and last year's game um, 13. So uh, it should be. Should be a great game um, coming up this year, uh, and hopefully we won't have any problems uh, with. I like to see. It. Hopefully it'll, they'll get all the bugs uh, fixed and whatnot. And add some more. Uh, hopefully it won't take any features out that they um, that they have had in uh, from the last two games of the two of the WWE 13 and WWE 12 series um, games. Hopefully they'll add more onto it and. Uh, keep building um, each year um, as the games come out. Um, but there you see, Punk is just getting manhandled by the beast right there. And we'll see one, two, three, and that's it. The beast from Carnage wins. Brock Lesnar. So, will this actually happen uh, this Sunday at? Paper at the uh, pay per view of SummerSlam. We'll have to find out and see if uh, Brock Lesnar can put the uh, best in the world away. As you know, Brock said, uh, the beast is the best. So we'll see if that's true uh, this Sunday at uh, SummerSlam. So, uh, again, leave you guys' comments uh, down there in the comment section. Also, uh, check out uh, us on on uh, Facebook, uh, ESG Net on Facebook, ESG Net on Twitter, and ESG Net on Tumblr. Uh, the links down there below in the description. And as always, uh, you guys check out more videos uh, from other series here on ESG Net, and uh, definitely check out the pay per view this uh, Sunday, uh, SummerSlam. See what's going to happen. Uh, but also leave your comments of what you guys think is going to happen uh, or you'd like to see happen uh, coming up uh, here this Sunday. So, as always, keep yourselves healthy and I will see you guys next time.